greetings and salutations. It's time for more Strikey Sisters, and let's hope level 13 is a lot more kinder than uh, the last few levels have been. Glowing eyes of death. Magic bomb. And mortars. Come on. I'm looking at this one, I can't... I've got like two initial tactics you can go for. You can like clear up the center and then try and launch this the ball in from the above. Oh god, I forgot about the ones who lay poison. It doesn't hurt you, it just slows you down. Fireball! It's a lot more grief than uh, just having a harmful patch. Gorgon Head! Monster trap. There's no way you'll escape. Dark flame. Keep those monsters down. Oh, coins everywhere. That was a devastating double ball. Okay, let's get my, co uh, my stars. Don't need the coins anymore. Well, that did nothing. Why don't I like the lightning? It's too random. It can just miss everything. Ball. Get those last two blocks. Any luck? Yes, we got the last block of the lightning. Nice bit of luck there. Double ball. Now I can just persuade the uh, critters to come out of the uh, corner. I might be able to get somewhere. Or better yet. Dark Fire and bomb. And done. You win. That was quick. Don't like those blasts. They're slow, which is nice, but the spread is not nice. Uh, it's quite, uh, well, yeah, it's not nice and it's quite uh, deadly. Now, fingers crossed. After I do these next series of levels, I won't have any more save issues and not have to redo the whole lot again. I do like playing Striker Sisters, but... Oh, man, it's... Doing these bonus levels, they're quite tough. I really want to just get some videos recorded and get everything done. I'm going to go through everything again, it's just... It's like, then I've got to plan another hour. These things do take a surprising amount of time. It's like three or four minutes for each level. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Have I got the nice angle? No, come on. How did I miss? You know what? We're just going to restart this one because... Go! That was, that was two dreadful, easy to prevent misses, which uh, would have stuffed me for the rest of the uh, level. So, we've got this corner going again. Fireball! 
a useless fireball, just making it very difficult for me to see the ball. Come on, get that last one. Yay! Now if I can just get you go behind. Excellent. In. Oh, it's bounced all the way back out again. No, just short. Again, just short. Down. Excellent. Oh, it would come out here. There's too many enemies. Don't go all the way round! getting that coin. God, stop puking stuff at me! But it's demon pigs. I'm just playing Pong with this uh, little squid. Stop it! There we go. Oh, there we go. Still managed to miss the solid ball. I don't know how. I think the problem is, is sometimes you go for the ball and you go, oh, I want that pick up, and then you end up missing both. That'd be nice if I could actually hit the things to break through. Come on! You wore off just to start getting the right angle. Thank you. And back up to full health. Very nice. It's one of the things I really like about the Striker system as well. It has just the right amount of achievements. Now, I'm finding achievements actually starting to spoil my uh, enjoyment of games because. Fire. How to put it? Yeah, sometimes the requirements for achievements are so ridiculous that you're never going to get them. Especially the dreaded multiplayer achievements for people like me who tend to play single player more than multiplayer. And thus, it's like sometimes I'll get a game that's like, well, I know I'm never 100% this. And it puts me off playing it sometimes. It just spoils my mood. I mean, I like games where um, it's got like four or five achievements. You know, not too bad. Like 10 or 11 is tends to be the average now, though. But, you know, I like... I like it when, for example, if a game has gives you a choice of a pack. It gives you an achievement for reaching the choice and for making the choice. I don't like ones that go, oh, you've got to, to get, e uh, sorry, to uh, get this set of achievements, you've got to have played evil, even though the evil storyline is badly written or not as enjoyable. Or, and to, and to get this set, you need to play good. I, it's like Skyrim, that really annoys me with its, um, with some of its achievements. For example, like filling out certain uh, perk decks. Uh, Sorry, the perk, perk trees. Why am I saying perk decks? Wrong game there. Uh, like you've got to, you've got to get the uh, fill out the vampire one and the werewolf one. And I'm like, I don't want to play vampire or werewolf. This is supposed to be sort of an open game where I'm, you know, allowed to do freedom of choice. But if you're forcing me to get these um, conditions in order for me to uh, actually fit to fill all the achievements, then you're limiting my choice. Especially since uh, perks and levels are quite hard to get and quite long to get um, by the end of the game. You know, you're not leveling up quickly. And people go, yeah, that's the multiple people come back to the game and do multiple places and try things out. Fair enough. I can sort of understand that argument, but 
Sometimes I just want to play a game like once or twice. I don't, you know, I'll I'll play a game and I'll then be like, well, I don't want to play this for the next few months. Skyrim's a bit like that. Getting through the whole thing, finishing it once, um, that will probably be enough for me. Finish it once and then come back to it in a few years' time. So that said, I've completed the main storyline, but I've never completed the Civil War storyline. Every time I've come close to doing so, I've um, had like computer issues or uh, the game's got corrupted from a mod or something. Exactly the same issue with Fallout uh, New Vegas. I get right to the end of the game, I do practically all the DLCs and everything, and then I'll be just like... I'll have a computer error. Or one of the mods will break something so far into the game. I want to have a mod that changes the starting area and gives it a few basic quests. And this breaks one of the DLC um, quest lines, meaning that you can't complete that DLC and you actually get trapped inside the DLC area if you can't complete it. Iron Ball! I was gutted. It was doing so well, and I was. Planning on completing absolutely everything. But I think if one of the uh, achievements that really gets to me, uh, the one I hate the most, and I do like, uh, you know, if it's like I complete the game on the hardest setting, fair enough. But. If you've got a um, game which goes here, now you've completed the game on the hardest setting, you've unlocked a new hard, uh, new difficulty mode. That's fair. But if this mode does not offer me anything at all, other than additional difficulty, I'm not interested. Um, I like new game pluses. I, I like new content available. But don't just go, you completed the game on the hardest difficulty setting, and now you, if you want some all the achievements, you must complete it again um, on an even harder difficulty setting. And it, again, that's sort of one of those things that irks me. It's like, I've already played it on the hardest difficulty setting that was available to, to me. I've just played your game, I've completed it, and a lot of games don't have a lot of replayability in, in some cases, and thus having this forced, uh, you must play it again, but even harder, it just doesn't appeal. Who has time for it nowadays? You know, it's one of the rises of casual gaming. People just don't have time. There's a lot more commitments nowadays because well, media and uh, technology is just caught up to the point where people don't really have home time. Work can get to anywhere because of mobile phones. You know, you're expected to be, um, you know, working whenever work uh, decides you're, you're needed, otherwise you're not contributing to the company. That's a bit of a toxic work for I think if you've booked your day off, they shouldn't be phoning you and asking you for stuff all the time. Again, depends on the company, but a lot of guilt are you doing that. Especially in retail. Oh, work six days a week, do you? Oh, well, we've decided to call you up on your seventh and ask if you can come in and cover someone else's shift. normal pay with no overtime. I've not even paid attention this level and I'm doing fantastic! So now I'm paying attention, it's probably going to go horribly wrong! Kind of um, miss and really think it should make a comeback. It's Couch Co-op. 
there's just, if you look at games nowadays, there's hardly any counts co op. Nintendo makes a good try at it. But even then, not many of the games, well, they have more games than, like, say, PlayStation or Xbox that are involved in. Dark Flames. Come on, come closer so I can hit you. Lightning Storm. You win. And that's all my ranting done for this uh, playthrough. I'll catch you next time.